anti-aging products you find at your local drugstore really work? Dr. Howard Brooks is the medical director of skin cosmetic dermatology of Georgetown, and he's here now with some expert advice. And doctor, a pleasure to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you as well. All right, the main thing is money talks. Does money make a difference in the products we buy for our skin? Money doesn't necessarily make a difference in the products that we buy. The key is to look at the ingredients. We all, whether we're 20 years old, 30, up to 80 and 90 years old, we all want to put our best face forward. But oftentimes it becomes a little intimidating when we go into the store. Absolutely. For the 20 year old who probably has uh, maybe a little, a few outbreaks, but doesn't have to worry about lines, what are the ingredients and the product that they need to concentrate on well, at that age? I think everyone, no matter what age, but particularly when you're in your 20s, you want to really do prevention. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is sunscreen. Uh, I tell everyone whether they're, again, whether they're 15, 16, all the way up to 90 years old, wear sunscreen with an SPF 15 every day. SPF 15, I don't have to do 30 or 45? Oh, I personally do 30, but SPF 15 or above is what the AED recommends. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And for the 30-year-old, now we're getting into right. a more mature woman who's maybe had a little bit more sun damage, mm -hmm. but still not the wrinkles and the lines of the 40- right. or 50-year-old. What are her concerns? You know, I think that uh, when the 30-year-olds, that's my generation, when they come in, they're, look, they're concerned with, again, prevention, but also the fine lines and wrinkles that are starting to show. Alpha hydroxy acid is what you want to look for. Alpha hydroxy acids are basically an exfoliant, so they'll lift off that dead skin cell layer and leave you with a fresher, brighter looking face. Does the woman of color have to worry about that acid on her face more so than the other woman? Uh, absolutely. There's a problem with um, any person of color that they could have um, discoloration, hyperpigmentation. So what you would want to do is not necessarily apply those alpha hydroxy acids every day, but do it maybe one to up to three times a week. 40-year-old, 50-year-old woman, we're now starting to get the parentheses, the, the furled burrow. Do we... Uh, all go for Botox or no, can we do topicals? There are some things that, that can work even though you want to maybe come to my office do the Botox do the fillers you also want to do a retinol and that's what you want to look for not necessarily something that says anti-aging skin brightener but actually turn these boxes around and turn these labels around to see if it contains retinol. It's really a different profession before it was just I had acne so I had to go Absolutely. to the dermatologist now it is prevention and maintenance. It's exciting it's very exciting. Can you look good even in your 70s 80s up to 100? Can you I believe minimize anyone it? can look good Absolutely. <laughs> Dr. Brooks, a pleasure to have it's you a here. Pleasure to be here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you. we'll be right back after this.